welcome fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. And look at this, it's a beautiful game of Time of Legends Joan of Arc by Mythic Games. I'm going to be doing a battle report. Of course I need an opponent. Who could that opponent possibly be? It's me! I'm back! Did you miss me? <laughs> That's Will to you. Yes, Will is back. Yay! It's been so long, Will. It's been nine, ten months or something ludicrous. That is outrageous. Where have you been? I've been in Australia working instead of here in New Zealand gaming. It's outrageous. What are you doing like working instead of gaming? That's madness. Uh, just don't have three children is my advice to you. Yes. Well, I took that advice. <laughs> And I haven't regretted it for a moment. But anyway, here we are playing Joan of Arc, Time of Legends Joan of Arc, and isn't it beautiful? Yes. Um, I put a lot of effort into painting up all these units and the buildings. There's a church and there's some villages and some trees and everything, and it is a spectacular game. Um, yes. I've set up the scenario, the Battle of Creasy, which is the second scenario in the book. Will and I have had one game of this uh, before. I've played it a couple of times. Um, so Will has... The usual state of not really knowing what we're doing. No. But because we have the excellent Asteric Order of Gamers rule summaries, which I haven't actually read this time, but this one particularly handy, has all the special abilities on the back, terrain descriptions on the front. What could possibly go wrong? And where can you find those, Will? You can find those at Asteric Order of Gamers, orderofgamers.com. Yes, indeed. So, let's get started with the Battle of Crazy. <laughs> Right, here we are, the Battle of Crecy. It was August the 26th, 1346. Edward III of England is pushed back all the way to Crecy by a gigantic French army. I'm the French. Woohoo! Sacre bleu. His troops hold their ground and set down some stakes. Philip VI of France, well, I should say Philippe VI of France, sends in the Genoese uh, mercenary crossbowmen as his first line of fire, but they are rendered completely useless by the absence of their pavises and the rainstorm falling on the battlefield. Getting extremely impatient, <laughs> damn English, <laughs> the French knights end up charging through their own men, getting repelled dozens of times by arrows and stakes. What a surprise, French cavalry getting mm. impatient. Impetuous, I believe, is the they technical term. Yes. Um, that's, a... <laughs> that's the poltergeist, don't worry, carry on. Yes. Um, getting repelled dozens of times by arrows and stakes. After all their unsuccessful attempts at an attack, the French king's brother, Charles de Anson, leads an attack that manages to pierce the first English line of defence. The English knights prepare to withstand the onslaught. So, right. we have here the French, and we have lots of cavalry, as you can see. Um, we've got a whole bunch of peasants here. Peasants. peasants. Uh, some pikemen. Uh, this, in fact, is Charles II, this is John I. He's a bit dodgy. He can go over to the other side during the game uh, with, a, with a die roll, so I wouldn't trust him. Um, and over here we've got uh, Philippe VI, who's uh, our main man, of course. And uh, what have we got? Some sergeants at arms and some um, volgiers uh, there, which are sort of halberds. Here are your Genoese crossbow men sort of lurking in the shrubbery. These are placed randomly at the start of the game. The they actually sure don't do here. anything, but they do block movement until you kill them. And the English are over here. We've got some archers near the church. Uh, one pikeman for some strange reason. And one some, there and one over here, which renders them both pretty yeah, useless, really. Some foot knights, sergeant at arms. Uh, a lot of archers, of course. Those English, they love their archers. Yes. And down here... <laughs> thank you. Uh, over here we've got... Uh, here is um, Edward. Here, and a blacksmith, and uh, the Earl of Arundel here. And these are the wagons that I'm trying to push through and get. So Peter has to cap kill, capture or destroy those wagons, or kill two of my characters. Uh, the Black Prince and uh, Edward III. And Edward III, and I have to kill two of his characters or 12 of his units. Yes, uh, you actually have to kill Philippe and any other character. Right, okay. Or 12 of my units, including the Genoese crossbowmen, actually. Yes, so um, I... Yeah. Yes, there may be some multiple ways of approaching this, but anyway, let's go. How do we start? Well, we start, indeed, by uh, turning over the first round card. Right. So here we have the lovely dashboard thing that comes with uh, Joan of Arc. Isn't it beautiful? It is. It's I lovely. love this. And we've got a set number of rounds here. We've got six rounds. Turn over... Whoops, these are in the wrong order. We can have that. Uh, set up error already. That's no, all right. It's all under control. There we go, turn over the first one, and it is three activations, so we get three of these activations order, orders each. Right. Which we put on our little sheets here. 
Take three of those. Now just to tell you what those are, if you haven't played uh, Joan of Arc before, we've got basic activation orders here. We've got charge orders here. Uh, these ones are reactivation orders, so you can activate an area that's already been activated. And these are interrupt orders, so you can um, do an order on the opponent's turn. So after we've done the round, we then put down these cards, which are the War Council cards. And this gives us a little extra treat, uh, which we can use at the start of the round. And starting with me, who's the first player, we can decide to use one of these things. So I can get three experience points, exchange an order for experience or legend tokens, um, and discard a legend card, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to get some experience tokens. I'll get three. Toi. Toi. Sorry, my French is extremely rusty. I won't attempt to... <laughs> Twas ever thus. Yes. All I can say is, Je voudrais en chambre pour deux personnes, s'il vous plaît. Well, there you go. That's about it. So, uh, Will, which one would you Mine like? Mine goes to un beer bitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, between which, us, we've which got... Which the aficionados out there will recognise is not actually French. <laughs> no. Between us, though, we can get a beer in a room. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, so what, I've got to pick something. Yes. Right. Yeah. We haven't got any legend cards, so that won't do you any good. So you can exchange an order for experience tokens or legend tokens, or get experience tokens. You will have to up, up, got to upkeep your characters. Yes, uh, so and that, that experience requires experience well. tokens, doesn't it? So I'll yep. take three. So I've got a, a level two character, and every turn, this fella here, because he's got two stars, I have to spend one of these tokens to keep him at level two, or he flips over and becomes inexperienced again. Absolutely, and that's... Uh, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely! <laughs> Absolutely. So let's do that now. We have to do that. So I've got um, level two, Charles II, the magnanimous. So he costs one experience point to upkeep. And I've got Edward III costs one. Off they go. Okay, now let's get into turn. At the end of the turn, I am the first player, so I get to decide what to do first. Thinking time. Okay, it's the first turn, and I'm going to do some tricky stuff to start with. And that is because I'm going to activate this area here. And in it, I've got Philippe the, the uh, Sixth, de Valois. And he's, he has a special ability. Once per round, when he's activated, I can move one allied cavalry troop one area towards an enemy area. So I'll move one cavalry from here up to here. Mm -hmm. That's a special ability. He also has a command ability, so he can activate one unit up to one area away. So he'll move one of the sergeant at arms into this area. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that area is full now. So after he's done all that, he can then move forward. And here they come. Mm -hmm. Walking down the street. So the guy who was already activated gets to move again. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, and actually, I'm going to keep Philippe back here because instead of moving, he is going to have a chat with the priest. As just, you do. Yes, before the battle starts, it's time to get a little bit of religious instruction. So Check the entrails. <laughs> yes. Pagan. Um, so, I have four question cards here. And I give these a little shuffle. This is one of the great things about this game, is that you can have a little chat with the, um, the locals. While the arrows are falling all around you. Absolutely. So you can get a bit of guidance. So I pick a card, and I've got a series of questions. Now, two of them have banners that I'm not... They uh, holy and unholy armies, so I don't... I, you know, I'm not those banners, so I have two to choose from here. Um, I th well, oh, okay. So I think I'm going to go for question A, which is, which saints must I call upon to guide my arm during the hard battles waiting for me? Oh, very good question. Yeah. So there you go. Well, you can answer question A for me. Question A. Ask God directly, my son, because your fights will be difficult. Thank you for that. Uh, so it says test red. Test red. Are you red? Ah, you know? if, disrupt. If sword or disrupt, draw two legend cards. Keep one of them. Excellent. Thank you, Padre. <laughs> no, you asked God directly. Oh, so thank you, God. <laughs> um, two, and I can choose keep one. Oh, that's really good. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll keep that one. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was one unit. I'm not going to spend another one on the ones that move forward and get rid of these Genoese Hang crossbowmen, on. hopefully. That's a reactivation, isn't it? No, because I activated this area to move them forward. Ah, 
okay. now put it into this one. This is the great thing about this game. It's, it's not just necessarily tricky. one move or one attack. As long as you can put an activation token in the space, you can activate them. Right <clears throat> so these Genoese guys have... Um, uh, they have one black and one white defense die. So that's for you. Okay. And I have three pikemen, which is three white and um, sergeant at arms, which is a red. Your pikemen have got cohesion. Has, doesn't that give them some benefit? Uh, they have cohesion, which means that no defense. Okay. I got two shields. Oh. Oh, sod you. <laughs> so, um, that leaves a push, but luckily because in this case, killing these guys only requires a um, push cancels killing, so they are dead. Right, so that counts as a victory point to me. Well, it counts as one of the 12 years to, to my 12. destroyed. Yeah. Yes. So, I've done that, um, and let me just think about my next move. Right here. Okay, I've been slightly conservative in my first turn, but um, I've brought... These cavalry into there, so there that's quite full. I've got a full area there ready for you know saying hello. And I've got some people over here. I've killed one Genoese crossbowman to clear the way there. Um, and it's your turn, Will. I've also saved a couple of my orders here. These have gone into reserve. You can have a maximum of three types of orders in reserve each turn. So there we go. I clear these off the board, these activation tokens, and it's now Will's go. Okay, so um, I've got Edward III here who has a um, command range of two hexes we discovered and he can activate three, is that three units or three areas? Three units. Okay, so he's going to act, his, his first, these are command things which are bonus actions, right? Yes, you can, you, you can do them before or after your normal action. Alright, so um, he's going to give him an order to move up to here. Uh, and then as he's going to give these two uh, the order to fire. Aha! Uh -huh. There and we go. So they'll fire on you here. Oh dear. <laughs> right, let me just gather some dice together. Yes, I've got two yellows. Right, Will, your bowmen. Yep, they're going to pin cushion you here. It. Yep. Black in the sky with a push and a shield. That's pretty crappy. Yes, it is. Is that all you've got? Is it, uh, it's two dice per figure, isn't it? Yes. Right. That makes a difference. Oh, it's still crap. You just two pushes. Two pushes. Well, that's bad. Uh, nothing. Um, however, shield I believe counts as a disrupt. Does it? Yeah. Okay, so we turn that into that. Oh, I'm so good to you. You are. You're absolutely right. When attacking, shield turns into yep. disrupt. Okay. Here's my defence. Uh, thanks to John, um, the uh, Charles the Second. It's quite good. Oh, there's three, four shields. Ah, oh, yes, no Damn. problems at all, folks. Yes, they just shrug off the arrow. <laughs> it's not even a horse's hit. <laughs> yeah, they just go, what do they go? Ping, 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 ping off the armour. <laughs> That's incredibly they disgusting. Go, look over and go, oh, look at those English peasants. <laughs> yes, they'll give you the finger. <laughs> all right, so that's his special actions done. Yeah. Now, let's give you another dose. Um, now, did you activate that area? Where, where was that? That was his special command. Oh. What was the range, though? Range? Two oh, hexes. Oh, two hexes, yeah, great. Yes, that's, uh, that's, uh, that, that doesn't count as an activation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does. You have to activate the guy, your guy here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so he's activated. He is. And since that was a, a command action, he can actually do something now, and they can both do something. So yes. they can chat with the, the uh, blacksmith. Yes, well, that's what he's going to do. Um, and oh, he's got... Anything else you He's want? got charisma. Ah. So he's going to use charisma, which gives him... Uh, that means you can choose anything. Any question, regardless of faction restrictions. And if you roll a dice, you can roll again. Yes, excellent. The result. Right, so I'm going to have a chat to the blacksmith. Excellent. Hello, right. Smith. Choose the blacksmith cards out of there. <laughs> Smith! Yes, Mr. Smith. There yes. I met the other blacksmith in the other village. Strangely enough, his name is Mr. Smith, Smith too. As well. There's a lot Incredible. of Smiths. Very uh, common name for a shuffle reason. Those. Shuffle these. Mr. Smith, you wouldn't happen to be a smith by any chance, would you? That's why there's a lot of millers as well. Yeah. And Fletchers. Yeah. No morning stars, though. <laughs> um, are you going to choose one, randomly? Oh, oh, you, you, choose, you hold out for me to choose one. Oh, you? there you go. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I can read any of them. Um, don't read the back, though. I need the no, questions. No, no. Uh, red ones uh, carry some risk. 
What's the unholy one say? It says, the sword I see displayed on an unholy. This worship reeks of sulfur. Does the devil guide your arm during your labor? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, that's, that's pretty tempting. I wonder what the effect of that will be. Is it red? No, it's not red. Oh. Um, the sword, the red one is, the sword I see displayed here seems worthy of St. George. Did you set it aside for a well-known knight of this land? So can I ask that one? You can, but as I said, it carries some risk. What's the risk? Well, it just means that it may, something bad may happen. Oh, okay. Uh, so they check, can you tell me if I can find some fighters in town with such able oh, Okay, I'll ask question A. Alright, which is? Uh, the way you check the balance of your sword tells me you know your way around a blade. Can you tell me if I can find some fighters in town with such able hands? No, bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is... It was A, was it? Yes. Yes. Well, when I frequented the Good Trooper Inn, I regularly met such folk. Oh, fighters, yeah. So, test of black. Test of black. Yep, black dice. I've got a sword icon. You can actually re-roll, but uh, I think sword is probably good. No, no, you actually want a shield. Oh. Roll again. The shield! He gets a shield! Yay! So, one of your units of your choice performs a red, uh, no, a two red dice, range one direct shooting attack. Else, one of your troop units, chosen by one of your opponents, is pushed back. Range one shooting attack. Yeah. Um, so is this range one? Nope. Range one is only one area. So that's not very useful, is it? No, it's not very useful. Else, one of your troop units chosen by one of your opponents is pushed back. Oh. One of mine? Yeah. All right, well then I'll shoot these bastards. Okay, that's fine. You can do that's that. That's area one, isn't it? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so what, um, what do I attack with? Everything in the area? Yes, add it all up. Well, that's the end of the Genoese um, crossbowmen there. So basically, you got the blacksmith to send his mates from down at the pub <laughs> down to take them out. There's some Genoese in the field out there with fat persons. Right, now you have another, another option here. You can spend one legend point to ask a level two question. Ugh, legend point? No, you don't have any have legend no points. legend points. Yeah, oh well, never mind. That's really annoying. Yeah, that would have been good. Okay, so that's that activate. Now this fella, the Earl of Arundel. Once per turn, when he's activated as a move action, I may place him into any free or allied area of an adjacent hex. All right, so he's going to go into here. Oh, oh, devastating. And now I've got two activations. So the first one, I'm going to fire these blokes at them. Oh. Um, that's range three, and I've got extra range because I'm on a hill. Who are you firing at? This. And who are firing? These. Yep, okay. Well, they'd hit normally, range Actually, two. One, two. I could, I could aim at the peasants. They're probably going to be more. No, you can't. Different. It's a diagonal spot there, so you can't, <sighs> can't reach the peasants. What about him? Yeah, you could do that, yeah. Mm. Range of three, you could, yeah. I'm going to go for him. Oh, no, I've left my <laughs> general sitting there talking to a priest. Has <laughs> ah. <laughs> the arrows rained down, and here oh, they come. No, this is not good. And shields become... No. Hit wounds. What? No, they don't. Oh, yes, they so do. do. Attacking. So that's three disrupts and a pushback. Oh, I may have, may have made a crucial mistake here. This is not good at all. Well, you could just hang back, like in a typical French fashion. <laughs> Keep well, the commander well I was, back. I was hanging back, talking to the priest. I didn't think you'd be able to reach me. Mm, yeah, I've got a range of three from the Okay, um, I get to cancel one push when defending, so you can chuck one of those pushes okay. out. Oh. And I get a defense of two black dice. Dude, this better be good. Give me some oh, shields. <sighs> no! Ah, ah. Ah. So one shield cancels one of those. Yeah, that's two um, disrupts. Two disrupts. Hold on. This is not good. <laughs> um, this is really not good at all. Peter has just realized a chronic blunder that he made. He left his count what's his name philippe by himself talking to the priest and i shot at him from here and we've done a wound and he's ended up disrupted over here um this is a crucial newbie mistake i just did not even think about that because of course on the hills you get an extra range and it's indirect fire so he just <laughs> chatting with the priest and suddenly <laughs> a hail of arrows <laughs> came from nowhere um that's a really bad move so if he doesn't rally at the end of this turn um, I'm in deep, deep trouble. If he doesn't rally, what happens? Um, he'll be dead. Why will he be dead? Was, doesn't he... Does he... You don't... You, either, what, you have to go either here or here, do you? Yeah. Right. Okay. 
We'll have to start this game again, I think. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Oh dear, English archers are really <laughs> causing havoc in the French ranks. They have just <laughs> fired this unit here and uh, it succeeded in pushing back two of my units. Like him so. Him. Him so his pikemen have lost cohesion. Uh, trying to splinter up his cavalry so he can't do one mass charge with everything. Oh uh, yeah. Do you have anything else? No, I'm out of activations. Okay, well, the important thing now is the camp phase where we do our casualties check and we find out if Philippe gets rallied or not. Oh, no, I'll be rolling that. Thank you. <laughs> Fine, you can take responsibility. Oh, this is crucial. <laughs> I'm terrified. Here we go. Ah, oh, no. I've lost my general. Ah. Oh. Into the graveyard. So now I've only got to kill one other character to win the game. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to have to keep him out of range. Oh, this is outrageous. <laughs> You're going to have to go in leaderless. Oh, French are used to that. What a newbie mistake. <laughs> this is just like, uh, what's his face getting an arrow in the eye? It's, uh, <laughs> Harold. Harold. Yes. Yeah, just as the battle starts, Philippe gets an arrow in the eyes. He's chatting to the priest. Yeah. Well, that just goes to show don't trust in God when you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're attacking the English. Forget omens. Yeah, that it, attack. That either means don't trust God or the God is on the English side. I think we know which one it is. <laughs> the Germans had on the back of their belt buckle. Gott mit uns. <laughs> <laughs> Nicht sie. Yep. Oh dear. Oh well. The, <laughs> the priest is sitting there going. He's going, ha, oh, my plan works. works. He's actually an English spy. <laughs> yes. The priest, the real priest is trussed up in the belt. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> he, he casually uh, draws a baguette from his backpack and munches happily on it <laughs> as he drags the body of Philippe into a ditch. <laughs> and then and basically draws a little cross on his forehead going, bless you, my son, <laughs> or walks away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Right, new round. So turn over that round card. three... Three actions. There we go. Three actions each. Can the French come back from this horrific situation? Yeah, well, morale situation? will be at rock bottom. The rumour's spreading through the army now. All right. Philippe is dead. What? <laughs> Philippe is dead. No, it can't be true. Sacre 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 <laughs> right. Quick, retreat to the Maginot line. <laughs> what? No. That what? won't be happening in hundreds of years, you fool. <laughs> uh, so what have we got? We've got... A burning flag. Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that one before. I'm going to have to look that up. Hold on. Okay, that one means discard one activation order from one of your opponents. So that's pretty good. Or you can get two legend or two experience, or you can get an interrupt order. So, so um, now hmm. who's got the initiative at this point? I'm going to uh, do this one. I start. It doesn't matter because you can both choose the same thing yeah. if you want to. You can discard your interrupt order, please. Righto. Thank you. I'm going to... Oh, it's your turn, isn't it? Yeah. No, you can I'll, choose I'll, I'll do the same. You can discard your charge. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Curses. Should have seen that one coming. Right, it's round two. Oh, I've already done that. Now, don't forget your re-roll token. You've got a re-roll token, which is crucial. You'll always forget that. Oh, that's, mine's over here. Yep. Okay, now let's see if I can come back from that horrific first round. Mm-hmm. Oh, a few things I should point out at this juncture. In the rules, uh, there is one rule that is missing that's in the um, errata, and that is if you have a conversation with one of the um, characters, you get an intrigue token, which is this one here. So every time you have a conversation, give yourself one of these. Um, the other thing about these, and this is in the rules, you can exchange intrigue tokens for experience points or legend points. So what I've done during this turn is um, I've done some jiggery pokery, so I've got my five cavalry coming forward here, and I've got these guys coming forward here. Um, I've got um, Charles II again by himself with the priest. And what could go thinking, wrong? Why am I doing that? <laughs> well, when I'm getting him away from attack, but to make sure he, um, I don't get shot by an arrow in the eye again, <laughs> um, I've exchanged my intrigue token for um, an exper- a, a legend token. And I spent that legend token to get a shortcut, which allows me to cancel all terrain modifiers in one area until the next council phase. So I'm cancelling the terrain modifiers on the hill that he's standing on. So he can't reach me during his turn. Whew. I wonder, does that count as a modifier or an attribute? Well, modifier, it's modifying your range. 
So yes. I say it works. <laughs> Somewhat um, dodgy. But anyway, I may not have to do that anyway because I, I do have another activation token here which I'm trying to work out what to do with. Um, I'm wondering if it's time to attack. I think it is because I'm sick of being shot by English arrows. So I'm going to spend a token here and... So now I've got a question at this point. I've got a thing here which says choose an area occupied by enemy units. These units can't move for the remainder of the turn. When can I use that? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Because it appears to be something that I would do during your turn. Okay, well we've concluded that this heavy bombard uh, option that I've played is one that you do as an interrupt action in effect during your opponent's turn. So I'm playing that on the knights, so they're now stuck floundering in the mud. Doesn't that sound familiar? That really does. I'm doing badly. I mean, it does say during the turn, and since a player's turn is either your turn or my turn, um, if you want to play it to stop me moving, you'd have to play it during my turn. So that stops me moving, so that's not good. And I've only got one order left. Um, so I could attack with these guys. Mm -hmm. oh, this is very annoying. Or I could make them more defensive. Um, How does, what do you mean make them more defensive? Well, by bringing, oh no, they couldn't reach. Yeah, no, that's no good. Actually, I'm really worried about him now, but he, he can't be shot. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Help! <laughs> One, two, no, he can't no, be shot by them. So, okay, that's my turn. It was terrible, but next turn there's going to be carnage. <laughs> so I've just given orders, my commander has ordered these archers and these archers to fire on them. And the first shot missed, but the second shot has done three pushes and a... What's it called? Disrupt. Disrupt. And this was Peter's role in response. Absolutely Total useless. How many shields? Count them. No. Zero. <laughs> Which is great. So you've disrupted one. Disrupt. Unit, so I can lose one. So oh. he goes into the infirmary. I'll lose a pikeman. All right. Off he goes. And the other three get disrupted, which means I get to push them back. They get pushed. Right. Into adjacent spaces of my choice. Hmm. Well, I think it's pretty simple. We'll just push you all straight back. Oh, sacra bleu. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about this. Oh, I'm so looking forward to charging your ass. <laughs> uh, actually, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Look, it didn't sound very good at all, did it? <laughs> you probably could have got away with it if you hadn't drawn attention no, to it. No, someone would have picked it up. <laughs> Okay, so that's my that's Edward III's uh, special leadership actions done. Now, this fella, Earl of Arundel, I'm going to spend three, what are these called again? Experience, Experience points. points. And flip him over. So he now has two red dice, and he's an engineer. Mm. <laughs> I have to find yes, out what that I'll does. I'll see what an engineer does. He, um, he can perform engineer actions <laughs> during their what? activation. What a surprise. Yeah. And engineer actions are <laughs> probably not very useful for you. Wouldn't no, be good for me. I imagine. Engineer um, actions. Earthworks, maybe? Uh, where are engineer actions, I ask you? And we'll find that out later. Anyway. Um, oh, I found it. <laughs> Here it is. You can, oh, you can barricade. You can place a barricade token in the same area as the inner performing action in a forest village or building interior or in an area containing a building. Um, when it's attacked, it provides one extra white defense dice against melee and shooting and prevents follow-up. Okay. Um, and also, you can set fire. You can place a fire token in your area. Roll Excellent. black dice. It succeeds if it's a shield. Um, peasant tokens can perform an action to remove fire, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, righto. Truly, the English cockiness has to be seen to be <laughs> believed. Will has activated his forces and attacked my cavalry. <laughs> I mean... What the? Well, I'm standing here in an open plane with no spikes, any defense at all, yeah. with troops behind me, which if I get pushed back, I'll no doubt get killed and so on. And you're about to charge next turn, no doubt. You'll get a charge marker. Whether you, whether you do or not, doesn't matter. You're going to attack across open planes, which will give you a bonus in attack because you're mounted knights. So I figured I might as well strike yeah, first. Yeah, well, I'm impressed with uh, the way the Black Prince has managed to persuade his men to go charging into the teeth of look at well, all those so guys it's, be it's because of the heavy bombard thing that i did which stopped you there yeah. gave me the opportunity otherwise you would have attacked me already this turn i don't know where this artillery came from it's the well it's the archers isn't it look they're all over the place <laughs> <laughs> well no i'm impressed well let's so, see what happens what are you going to roll with that's the black uh, prince okay i've got uh the oh the black prince he's got two reds go you reds i've got a uh, sergeant at arms that's these guys there's another red uh, I've got foot knights. That's another two reds. Oh dear. And I've got pike men. That's a white. And now I'm going to attack you. 
Okay, please roll shields. No Take terrain shields. modifiers or anything? No. No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh gee, you've been rolling well. That's a Look death at that. and five. Five disrupts. disrupts and a death? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, can, I need all those red dice so okay, if you so can replace those. Five disrupts dice. and a kill. Five disrupts and a kill. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five mounted knights. That's ten red dice. So, um, I need six Hang shields. On. Red? Don't you have black in defense? Oh, black. Oh, you're right. Oh, whoops. She's a small, small little difference. Um, that's only five dice. That's, uh, that's not great. Five disrupts and a kill. Do I have anything else here? No, because Philippe is dead. <laughs> um, oh, this is terrible. I can't believe footmen charging my cavalry. Well, you're just trotting them. along. Uh, it's got to be five disrupts and a kill. I can just see it. You know, they're just trotting along. Do you think we should charge soon? <laughs> I don't know. I think we should wait a little bit longer. Baldrick, there appears to be an orange hedge attacking us. <laughs> Oh, one shield. And I can't retaliate. I haven't got retaliation. I've just got charge. So, so the shield, shield gets rid of the kill. So how many disrupts? Five. Four, Four disrupts. No, it's five disrupts and a kill. You're kidding. No. Five disrupts and a kill. Yes. Unbelievable. They all go to the infirmary. Oh, no way. That is unbelievable. That's a pretty devastating counterattack. Wow. Check it out. Wow, the French cavalry at Crazy. Okay. Well, here we go, folks. It's uh, the camp phase where I try and rally all of the cavalry who are languishing in the infirmary. <laughs> and this could be the end of my chances if I do some bad rolling here. So let's start with the pikemen, shall we? Why not? Ah, they stay in the infirmary. They, uh, yes, do they? What do they do? Uh, if it's not already there, yep, they stay in the infirmary. Right, so first of the cavalry. Rallies. He rallies. Yay! Oh, good. He's back to help him. That's good. Second. Come on. I want lots of rallies. Oh, another one. Yay! Oh, damn it. Third one. Die. Oh, fantastic. Yay! Next one. Oh, oh you've <laughs> got to be kidding me. All I've done is postpone the inevitable. Oh, this is great. Come on. One of you has to die. Oh, <laughs> no. It's totally outrageous. That is brilliant. Utterly outrageous. Can they all fit in there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So no, one they can't. more. If they can't fit, um, otherwise place it in the waiting section. Ah, so, yeah. oh, that's brilliant. It was only flesh wounds. Everything's right. I should kill this priest here all about it. <laughs> oh, not dead yet. No, but time is running out. Time is running out. Because it's now turn three. Turn th oh no, I've got to do this by turn five, otherwise the English win for some stupid reason. <laughs> All right, let's the... go into the next round. We get three orders. Toi. See, even the English are speaking French. <laughs> well, they did really. Back yeah, in those they days. did, yeah, that's true. Um, and right, we've got a uh, uh, reactivation. Look for a War Council card of your choice and resolve it, then shuffle the deck or mm -hmm. retrieve your reroll token. I forgot my reroll token! <laughs> <laughs> or gain two Legend cards and discard one. Yeah, you really should have used the reroll token on your, really, um, really on your general, card. shouldn't you? Well, mind you, it would have only rerolled. What does it reroll everything that you roll? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it might not yeah. have made any difference. Yeah, well. yeah, I might have rolled some shields. That would have been good. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, uh, for my War Council card, I got myself a charge order. And Will, what did you do? Uh, I got a reactivate. Right, okay, so it's my turn. It is turn three. I've only got till turn five, so the time's for the Turn five or turn over. six? Turn six. Yeah. No, yeah. actually, you're only halfway through. Yeah. yeah. But you're, you've actually gone nowhere. Yeah. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is activate here. I'm going to bring all these dudes over here. And I am actually bringing, taking the risk of bringing Charles II in with them, even though if he gets killed, it's all over, because I'm sick of fuffling about. A bit of French courage. And now it's time for a charge. Hurrah! Oh, 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 ouchie. Charging the Black Prince. Unfortunately, you've got terror, so that, what does that do? You've got to roll a dice. Um, when an attack is declared against this unit, roll X yellow dice before the attack. That would be one. one. No effect. Blank. Yay! I'm not afraid of you, even though you just sent us all into the infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
us. It's fine. No, they're angry. They're mad. Yes. You can't treat the French like this. It's outrageous. <laughs> you know, first Brexit, now this. <laughs> so um, I'm going to attack here. Right. And I better have some success or otherwise I'll be very, very annoyed. So uh, they have two red dice. There's four of them. So that's eight, two, four, five, Ow. another three. And Charles II gives us um, a red and a yellow. So have you taken nine. into account your charge bonus as well? Yep, I'm going to because they charged over fields. Yep. So that means they get an extra... Uh, they can um, re-roll one attack die. Oh. Um, that's good. And... After I follow, I can. Fo after I follow, blah, blah, blah. so I've got impetuous, impetuous, impetuous. It means she has to follow up. So I've got what nine reds and one yellow. Oh God! So here we go, boys. Come on! And I've got charge, which means yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh that's more like it. That, that, and that's no good. So and two kills got, and two. Hold on, I've got four, four more reds. Oh Christ! Yep. Why? Because I've got nine reds. I just did five, so there's four more reds. Uh, That's more, more reds. Death symbols too. These dice don't have any death symbols. Um, I don't have enough dice. <laughs> You're gonna have to write it down. Um, there we go. Okay. Four more. Oh, oh, more death Jesus and destruction Christ. and horror. Look at that. So, three kills, three disrupts, and two pushes. And what's your defense? Yeah. Now, I just attacked you, put you all in the infirmary. You come straight back on and then charge. That's Kill because... Me. How does that work? Because my rally point was very close. So, actually, what he didn't do is he didn't put me in the infirmary. He just gave me a little bit of a scare. We re-rallied, and then we charged back. <sighs> Yeah, okay. I tell you, it was some pretty lucky rolling in the camp phase there. Yes. But then again, your roll that put me in the infirmary was pretty lucky was too. Pretty good. That was also a pretty good roll. Okay, yeah. what have I got? I've got pikemen who get plus one dice when defending against horses. So that's a yellow and a white for them. They don't get cohesion. Um, they get retaliation though. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've got foot knights who, when defending, cancel one pushback. Right. So you can take that out and straight push away. Push goes. And they get a black die. And I've got a red die for the sergeants at arms. And it leaves they, they all retaliate. Everyone retaliates. Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay, that's all I've got, though. And four lousy right. dice. Actually, yeah, I don't want you to get too many non-shields, because it's retaliating. That's Ooh, one That's only shield. one shield, so that loses a kill. And three pushes. And three pushes. So you do a lot of pushbacking, but you also die horribly. Oh. <laughs> Because we have two deaths, so two okay. die. Okay. Then we've got three disrupts. So the foot knights go into the uh, infirmary. Then you've got two disrupts left, so the first one does a wound to him, yeah. and the second one puts him in the infirmary. That'll learn you. Okay, so the second one puts me into the infirmary. Yes. I've got first aid at any time, remove one wound from your character. Ja. <sighs> So you're just stuck with one wound then? Yep. Okay, um, and now he gets no, pushed back? He gets pushed back. Okay. Um, and then you have to take ground. Then no, uh, you get, I have to you get three pushbacks though. Yeah, so I, do I get pushed? Yeah, okay, so you push me back from here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, and he has to follow <laughs> he has up. to follow up. Oh, he's exposed. <laughs> oh, Excellent. Dear, oh, dear. Guess what's going to happen next? That's not good. <laughs> Oh no, it's still my go. I haven't finished my go yet. <laughs> men, where are you, men? <laughs> men! Right, with my last orders, I have brought these guys up here and wiped out that hex. Uh, I managed to send a couple of bowmen to the infirmary, and I've also sent one of your guys to the infirmary, didn't I? Or no, I did a wound on him. An axe, axe dude. Oh, the Earl of Arundel got uh, one wound on him and pushed back. So um, that was quite a successful turn for me, and I've managed to get um, good old Charles II, the magnanimous, um, with his other guys, so he's got some defence. Uh, the cavalry, however, are still back here. Uh, Will, it's your turn. Yes, well, I'm going to do this, activate him and move him in there. Oh, look alone in the hills. And then I'm going to activate here and move oh, them in there. Briefly. Then I'm going to reactivate that square and attack you. 
Right, okay. Did you, right, okay. Leave the tokens in there. It's absolutely crucial that you leave the activation tokens in there. That's a whole linchpin <laughs> of the game there, Will. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. What do you got? I've got two yellows for each of the archers. Yep. Which shields turn into wounds. Yeah. I've got um, uh, these guys. Two red, three red, another two, seven red. So I'm short two reds. Are yeah, you red? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Where does that come from? It comes from Red Dwarf, which I think is a, it's the a reference to Manchester United cry. Okay. Go you, Go you Red! Oh, oh nasty, would you stop nasty, rolling so well? Oh, there's three blanks. That's, uh, yes, but that's fine. We don't care about oh, those. Oh, four kills! Yeah, now I've got to re-roll two of those. So, <sighs> let's just put some kills in there. Oh, would you stop rolling so well? <laughs> and take one of those. Right, hold on. Can I, oh, he's still going. Yeah. Oh, oh, well. Seven reds, please. Right? Shields, I beg you. Uh, push and disrupt. Oh, holy moly. It's gonna be nasty. Uh, what's my defense? I've got two blacks for the mount. No, I've only got one mounted knight. That's a black. Uh, I've got some pikemen, which is a yellow. Isn't this a great system? It's so easy. Jeez. Um, we've got um, um, sergeant at arms. That's another red. Mm -hmm. I have one of those reds. And finally, we've got uh, the man himself, Charles II. He's another red. He's no, another. he's got two whites and a, and a yellow. Yeah, uh, two whites and yellow. Thank you. Well, here we go. Can I defend against that devastating roll? Look at it. It's pretty good. This could be the end of the game, actually. <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh two, two shields. So get rid of two kills. It's annoying. And then we've got uh, that. If we've got any retaliation, I should check that before I rolled. Sergeant at Arms, retaliate. That's the red. So you get one disrupt. Okay. Um, but apart from that, oh, oh, Charles II's got retaliation as well, which is one yellow and two. Oh, I really should have done that before I rolled. Well, it doesn't make any difference. Well, it does. His retaliation is two whites and a yellow. So which yellow? Oh, no, that one. That's the only white. So you can take that. Yeah. And here you can take another one. <sighs> Right, so three. You should really roll those separately. If you have people retaliating, they should be rolled separately. So uh, the point is, however, is that you've uh, probably wiped me out, haven't you? You've got That's two kills. kills. So uh, we'll kill them and them. They're dead. That gives you two experience points. Excellent. Then we've got a disrupted unit. Oh, look at them all. And then... That's two. enough. To, that's... Two more disrupts. Two more disrupts. Hold on. Charles has got three. So that, that does two wounds. two wounds and then disrupts him. Oh dear, two wounds on why Charles. Does get, why does he get disrupted? There are only two wounds left to go, weren't there? Oh, you're quite right. Sorry. So he gets pushed back. Um, so he gets two wounds and then pushed back, yes. Yeah, not them, him. Sorry. There we go. He's still on the field, but he's got only one wound left. Oh dear, and he gets pushed back, and what did I do? Three disrupts to you, didn't Three I? Three disrupts. So yep. these guys get disrupted. Mm -hmm. oh, Christ. Into the infirmary. Funny how we're all sharing the same infirmary, infirmary isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a sea of blood. Problem there. Um, and and one more. So I've got to take a wound. Yep. I might take it on the old Arundel. Poor old Earl. <laughs> there we go. Look at these guys, they're, left, they're standing oh. at the barricades. Men! Men! Where are you? So John Chandos, the mercenary, has activated one unit of foot knights into that area and he's moved some others. So he's spreading out, ready for the onslaught. <laughs> but there's still well, there's three still cavalry over here. Over here and will these guys come back at the end of the turn, of course, is the um, thing. But I'm running out of time because next turn is turn four. Not too bad, so have you got anything left? Um, Maybe you can save up orders. This guy's got heal. Perform this unit action during its activation. No, I can't do that. Run out of activations. Um, so then, uh, I think that's it for me. So there's the state of the infirmary at the end of the camp phase. Um, my uh, cavalry unit's still there, and we've got a couple in the waiting area, but there are a few deaths on the English side. Ah, first Cu casualties. A couple of deaths. So, yep, still anyone's game. It's thinned out a bit up here on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it has. Yeah, yep. Not many left. Right, next turn. Turn four. Well, annoyingly, because Edward III has the rally skill, Will has rallied his uh, foot soldiers, uh, foot knights, in the infirmary and brought them back. 
So there they are, the guys I've got to kill, cowering behind their stakes, <laughs> unless I can sneak past them and get to these wagons and try and yeah, destroy those wagons. It's so easy to sneak through here, though, because of all this... Yeah, you know, you've got to be good, though, wouldn't it, if I could just sneak around there and yeah, blow up the one, wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes away. That'd be classic. It'd be just like after Agincourt, wasn't it? That mm. uh, they blasted through and killed all the Rebels. camp followers and <laughs> wagons. It's a huge train. But yeah. It's a long way round. Though the English did that. It wasn't the French, was it? Or was it the French? I've no. forgotten who did it. I can't remember. Right. It's the new turn. Um, I'm starting. I've only got three orders and I've got to give some serious thought to my next moves. Who knows what will happen? It's turn four out of turn six in this amazing game of Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. Oh, very underwhelming turn for me. I've just moved um, uh, Charles II way back here into the forest to keep him safe because he's only got one wound left. And um, I brought up a couple of uh, Vulgiers units and um, the Sergeant at Arms into this space. The girl was never there. <laughs> it's always the same. <laughs> I'm running to what's not there. Again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Retreating again and again. <laughs> yes. Yes, there he is. Lost in the forest. All alone. Retreating. Yep. Um, that's your go, Will. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to use Edward III. I'm going to activate this space here. And he's going to do a heal action. Which means you heal. Heal. A unit performing this action during this activation removes one wound from a character located in the same area. Thank you. I'll take that off. Oh, that's annoying. Um, and then he's got once per round, if you spend two of these, I can turn a grey into an orange, which I'll do. Mm. Just because I can. Oh, okay. And then how do I get these guys back on? The guys in the waiting, they come um, back in the uh, camp phase. Automatically? Yep. So why didn't they come on at the camp phase then? Because they weren't in the waiting, they just went into the waiting, that last camp phase. Oh, okay. Then so next turn they there. come out. Right, yep. right. Okay, fair enough. I've got one left. Okay, yes, I'm going to activate this area. I'm going to move these archers into here. Oh dear. This is the hill you're going to stand, <laughs> make you stand on. I'm going to move these choppy choppies in here. I'm going to move these ones in here. Right. Now, you've got a problem, because the Black Prince can only have three other units in the same area. Hmm, that is a problem. Yep. I'll move him out. He's just selfish that way. Do you, did you have the right activations to do that? Well, I've activated the space. All right, okay. Just checking. Um, oh, gee, it's a sort of nothing kind of turn. And when, I, when the Black Prince is activated, I can move one of my rally points to a free area or allied area. Hmm. Move it here. Oh. Oh. That it? No attacking this turn. Well, why would I? You've smashed half my offensive force. I know, you just have to survive until the end of turn six and, and you got, win. You've still got five cavalry. All right, I'm going to have to go with a last attempt to get through to the baggage trains or kill those two. Killing those two is looking so less and less likely as he builds up the forces in there. Let's see. So Peter has come trailing up the trial cubes. He's just <laughs> charging. Here he is back here. We've got Charles II going, Charge! Charge! <laughs> charge. <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> and they all come in here and they're attacking these light archers. And they're going, a desperate attempt to break through and reach the baggage trains <laughs> before the game is over. This is the second last turn, so I've just got to go for it. <laughs> and also, you haven't managed to kill one of my cavalry yet. They keep coming back. Oh, my God. I've, I've taken every single one of them off the board and they've all come back. That's fantastic. Right, so this bowmen are going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> drop, drop the bows, run. <laughs> Here we go. Six dice, charge. And uh, they went across fields. So that means I can re-roll a um, uh, little, little. Um, it's a terrain thing. It means re-roll one die. Oh, I don't think I need to. They're all good. Oh, there's a shield. I'll reroll that. Another push. So we've got two kills, a disrupt, and a push. Right. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is... One white. One white, but because I'm on hills, I get retaliation skill. Right. <coughs> yeah. Retaliation. <sighs> it's a blank! Say goodbye, you're dead. It's an experience point for me. Thank you very much, and I will... 
follow up. Yes, of course he will. You have to. You're impetuous. Look at this. Go for it. No, they're not impetu impetuous. Only he's impetuous. And oh, he's not very. He's not very impetuous. That is fantastic. Impetuous is a French word meaning cowardly. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to our French friends out there. <laughs> so that's it. Hey, eh? you've got you've stopped. That's it. I'm out of order. I've only got a uh, interrupt order well, left. We are out of order. Yeah. So oh, this could be it. I could break through. Yeah, well, don't count your chickens. You can't actually attack me from there either. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, Will, what are you going to do? The pressure is on. The cavalry unit is charging towards your baggage train. So first, I'm going to plan ahead. At the start of my turn, I can look for any card of my choice in the legend deck, take it, then reshuffle the deck afterwards. Oh, that's not good. So, I'll do that first. Are you paying the legend points for these, by the way? No, you're not. You haven't got any legend points. You're just playing cards without even paying for them. What? I've got to watch this man. I'd forgotten his penchant for bending the rules somewhat. I'm just trying to see how many of these cards I've actually played. It's hard to beat any of them. In fact, I don't think I've played any of those. I think I've played one card. Anyway, well, we will find out. So, okay. I thought I had... No, I must have spent those. No, yeah. that's right. I spent those last time. Yes, the old... Oh, I thought I had. <laughs> <laughs> how come we've got none of these? Last time we played this, there was dozens of these things floating around. I don't know. I don't know why we haven't got it. It's because we haven't been doing much discussing with the uh, locals. Oh, okay. It's got to chat with the locals. We've got time to chat with the locals. No. busy killing French. Well, the last time I played this game, I spent the entire game uh, with Edward III chatting to the blacksmith. And by the time he came out of the blacksmith smithy, oh, cool. it was all over. <laughs> Right, okay. Now, just let me think for a minute. So, Will placed an order, the first one of his turn here, to place, uh, move some of his guys in the way of my rampaging cavalry. He can't move the Black Prince in with him, unfortunately, because the Black Prince only plays well with three or less other units, and the Blacksmith is in there taking up a crucial <laughs> unit killed spot. that Blacksmith hours ago. <laughs> so, he can't kill the Blacksmith. He can never kill the Blacksmith. So, he's gone in there. That's his activation. I'm playing an interrupt order. This wonderful little blue cube, which allows my cavalry to attack before he can do anything else. Dog. Which is fantastic. And if I win, I'll be able to follow up. But, you know, let's not count our chickens too hard. No, let's count them. <laughs> How many right. chickens have you got? Here we go. I've got six dice. I'm in hills. I get retaliation skill with one dice result. Yep. That's all there. Anything else? What about your other guys? What are they? We've got foot knights. Foot knights. When defancing, when, when defancing. When defending, cancel one pushback. Right. And they get retaliate. Yep. So here we go. Oh, no, two shields. That's not good. But we've got two kills and uh, disrupt. So that'd be good. If you don't roll any shields, it's all over for so, you. Uh, what have I got? I've got so two, please don't roll any shields. Two bowmen. That's whites. And roll those. What? Black. Yep. Wait. Defending. All oh, right. Two whites. We'll roll the um, the black. foot knight separate because that's retaliate. So roll that. Okay. Roll now, the black black one. One of these is a retaliation though because of the hills. Oh, okay. And right. So one of them is. It says gain retaliation with one dice result. Oh, that's after, after the roll. That's after the roll. Right. Okay. So here we go. <sighs> see, I'll take that one. Okay. You can disrupt one of my forces. That's very annoying. If they go to the infirmary. Now the black. Come on. Kill them, you sucker. There's no. No, that's not... Oh, that is retali retaliate, isn't it? Is retaliate. Oh, no! Retaliation. Yeah, but you didn't get any shields, so I wiped you out. So one of my guys... Two kills and one disrupt. And one cavalry unit continues. Look at him go. <laughs> Come on, matey. You can do it. Okay, now I'll continue my turn. Oh, this is very, very close I'll now. I'll activate this square. Oh no. Oh ahead. no. No. Oh dear. That could spell the end for the French. And then I'll activate them again and I'll attack you. Oh no. You scum. No, I'm in trouble. Okay. I'm really in trouble now. So I've got Sergeant in Arms. So that's a red. And I've got uh, John Chandos. So that's a yellow. And who are these guys? Pikemen. That's a white. Oh, I'm doomed. And I get plus one white against horses. So that's another white. No. And the pikes. I think that's about it. Yes, here we go. That's a kill, my friend, and kill. a disrupt oh, and two yeah. pushbacks. Okay, and I get a oh one shield, so the kill goes. That's good. So annoying. It's off to the infirmary again. 
Look at all that cavalry in the infirmary. You just can't kill me. I cannot be killed. Um, okay. We have the super French cavalry. Super French cavalry. Is there any other kind? <laughs> um, okay, now I've got one activation left. Mm, you can always save it, remember? Yes. Yes, I can always save it. But I'm going to use it. I'm going to activate these guys and bring them in here. Mm. Right, um, this is the last turn now, isn't it? Then I'm going to reactivate. I oh, know, still going. Bring him in here. Yeah. Okay, well, it's time for the last turn. And I'm, well, I've got no one up there. No, so, yeah, this could be tricky. tricky. Well, you it's never good. know, you might be able to charge through the middle. <laughs> what, with two cavalry? <laughs> yeah. Well, you got this guy here. Yeah. That, I think that was my last. Bold hurrah there. It was a nice try, but you know, yeah, it's never be good. really going to come off, was it? Yeah. A few lucky dice rolls, I could have. One action short. All yeah, right, yeah. let's play it out. Well, Will did it. He finally killed one cavalry unit <laughs> in the camp phase. That one died from his injuries. Uh, there's still one left in there, and I got one back. But it's too little too late, I believe. Mm. So we get four orders in the next turn. This, this is all we have left. Which turn is this? This is the last turn. No. This is turn six. Okay. Turn a little thingy over here to say turn we six. We need new cards here. We need new war council cards. Make them good. Give me some charge orders. Anything to give me charge orders, please. Oh, oh that's destroyed. Oh, that's not good. No, oh, an interrupt, but no charge. Um, so, I have to pick one first. Um, I think I'll get an interrupt order, thank you. Yeah, me too. Okay, I start, so let's consider my moves. Well, I tried to come around the back, didn't work, so it's the last glorious hurrah. I'll try and kill Edward and the Black Prince, though the chances are pretty much nil. So uh, I'll activate them and move them into there, and then George! Well, it's not really a charge, it's a trot <laughs> forward. <laughs> and attack! With eight red dice. Oh God. Two, four, I've only got five. There we go. Ah, two pushes. Three of those. Let's just replace those. Uh, how many did I just chuck? Five. There we go, another three. A kill. There, so we've got a kill, four disrupts, and two pushes. What's Bloody your defense? Uh, see, I've got archers, so they're a white, and sergeants at arms, they're a red, and another sergeant at arms, that's another red. So, can we swap that over? And Maybe you're on the hill behind stakes, <coughs> so your bowmen get an extra white dice each. Yep, there's only one of them. There's only one. Um, then I get a black for the Earl of Arundel. And roll separately any that are retaliating. Uh, two blacks for him and a black for him. Two shields. Oh, that's pretty good. That takes out a kill and a thing. That's good. Can I just record that on something? You don't have to, because that's they're done now. They're done. Oh, all right. Um, and then I've got... I've still got four blacks here. All right. But they're not retaliating. Hang so on. Just... I've only got, I haven't got all of them in there, have I? I've only got three. Um, plus the arches. That's two more shields. Two more shields. A kill and two pushbacks. They're not retaliates though. No. So they don't do anything. So I've got four shields in the end. Yep. yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you've got one disrupt and two pushes. So pick a unit to get disrupted. Okay, I'll disrupt the arches. Bone, of course. And two units get pushed. <coughs> Okay. Uh, now, um, I get to choose. And you get to choose. Pushed. Yeah. No, so, I wonder. There you go. Oh, look. The only problem is I don't have another uh, a reactivation no, order. Don't. So I cannot actually activate that unit again, which is very annoying. And I should have done an interrupt then anyway and attacked you before you attacked me. But no, you couldn't do it. Well, yeah, yeah, you, you could, could have done, done that because you weren't charging. Yeah, you could. Um, I so, had it all planned and then completely forgot about it. I think that's all I can do, even though I've got two orders. I mean, I can use my interrupt one later on, but I've got one order left. There's nothing to do with it. I think what I'm going to do with this last order is move all the peasants into the village with the priest and lynch him. <laughs> <laughs> the 
escape priest. Yes. Well, he gave my he gave Philip very bad advice. Indeed. So um, it's your go, Will. And it's go. the last one. All right. Well, okay. So, but so I win by default. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm not going to be able to kill your leaders, am I? No, you're not. Because they're way over here, cowering in the bushes. Okay. All right. Well, I'll activate this space, and they'll all come charging in here. Oh. Oh. Actually, hang on. Oh, for a moment I had them alone. Looks like the Black Prince is cowering at the back. What if I activate, if I use his leadership ability to mm. bring these guys in here? Mm. Then I'll. Is that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, activate now that. I can move all of them? Yep. All right. So they'll all charge in and we'll have at the. with another activation. Oh, dear. And here it all comes. All right, sort it out. The last final battle. Okay, so we've got Edward, so he's three reds, and we've got Earl of Rundle, he's two reds. Those guys are mean. Yeah, they're leaders. Well, this is the thing, and this is what you did. Because you killed Philippe so early on, I was forced to, um, you know, keep my characters out of the battles, which, you know, took out quite a I, I am just catastrophically short of red dice here. Five from these two, and then another seven from everybody else. All right. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, that's nasty. Oh. <laughs> so you've got three kills, six disrupts, and two pushes. All right, okay. Um, I'll run my four. I need four dice, so these are all disrupts. Three, three shields. shields. It's not bad. All the kills go. So you don't actually kill them. <laughs> <laughs> they all get disrupted. Here we go. Whole charge. Now, I'd just like to point out to those of you at home at this um, very crucial juncture that if you're wondering why these are staying on here, I have tiny little blobs of blue tack uh, in there holding them in place, and it makes it very easy. Not rare earth magnets? No, no, not in this case, just blue tack. Um, so, yeah, disrupted. So, there you go. That's the end of the turn, and uh, I won't bother to see if they survive or I not. I could because do two more activations, but I don't think I'll bother. I, don't, I wouldn't bother. Well done, Will. You've, uh, you've beaten the French. Thank you. Well played, sir. Be. Now, perhaps you'd like to tell me what you think of your um, first full game of Time of Legends Joan of Arc. I think it's really good. I really enjoyed it. It's a great game system. It's um, very flexible. The interrupt thing is great, although I forgot to use it. I could have avoided a whole attack there and done that attack. Well, it's the version of that attack first, but yeah, I really like it. I'm, I'm a bit bemused by the idea that you would have a whole a leader spending a lot of time talking to the peasantry just to get whatever those things are. Mythic, what are they called? Uh, uh, intrigue points. Intrigue points. But the intrigue point that I did get and played was quite effective because it yeah. delayed your attack by a turn. Well, it's a decision, isn't it? I mean, you can decide to use him to get intrigue and thus do some surprise ability during the game, or you can just give that a miss. It's just a thing of choices. Yeah, I think it's a really, it's a great game. It's really clever. It's got lots of different ways you can play strategically and tactically with the units. The leaders are incredibly powerful. Uh, yeah, those command abilities are really powerful, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The, the command abilities, uh, these guys where you can order units in other hexes, that really gives you a lot of manoeuvrability, which you wouldn't otherwise have in a game like this. So that means you can plug gaps and fill things in and reinforce areas, which is really clever. And I really like the fact that you're not sort of limited to the activate this unit once yeah, thing, well, that, that charge was hilarious. Yeah. Bada -boom, bada -boom, bada -boom, boom. I mean, it feels more cinematic when you can say, okay, I'm going to expend all of my energy. It's a bit yeah. like Conan, isn't it? You can spend yeah. all your energy on one unit, one group of units, to really do something quite um, spectacular. I'm just trying to think about, uh, given that you've got, you've got six turns, it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you had brought these blokes up, one, two, one, two, three... One, two, three. If you'd held off attacking until maybe turn four, mm. you could have attacked with everything in the last two turns when you've got four activations and you probably would have overrun me. That's probably what I should have done. Though you were picking away at me with the bowmen yeah, well, quite effectively. Time, you know, the more you I spend setting up the lines, the more uh, men are falling with uh, shafts stuck in them. Yes, it's true. It's, a, it's always the problem when yeah. you do it against the artillery. Yes. Well, I highly enjoyed it. I think this is a fantastic game and I'm very um, pleased that it's such a good game because, um, you know, the, it looks amazing. And with all these units and everything, I thought, wouldn't it be terrible if you had all this fantastic bling, but it wasn't a great game. But no, to my is. relief, it <clears throat> is a great game. It's a good system. And we haven't even touched on all the fantasy stuff yet. No, the large figures, figure. <laughs> giant figures. 
There is just so much uh, gameplay to be had here. I think it's a winner. Yeah, it is. It's great. I'm looking forward to playing it again. Right, that's it, folks. Thank you very, very much for watching, and it's great to have Will back. It's great to be back. Yep, and uh, the weekend is young. We've got some more battle reports to film, <laughs> um, so I hope you'll enjoy them. Thanks very, very much for watching. It is, of course, the Esoteric Order of Gamers. There it is on his T-shirt, right there. <laughs> and if you visit orderofgamers.com, you can find lots of other fantastic videos. You can find rule summaries like this one. There are like about 320 of them at last count. They're yes. all professionally done by a professional graphic designer. Who's that? Oh, that would be Peter, the man behind the camera. Oh, that's me. That's you. Um, you can download this for free. And uh, if you wish to support all this hard work, um, you can go to my Patreon page and uh, contribute to the running of the website. Strongly recommend that you do that. Thanks. Every small stipend counts. Because look at the effort that's gone into this. This game doesn't come like this. You have to paint it. Yes. Look at the painting that's been done. Yeah, you've got to buy paints, spend time, learn. It's crazy. Invest huge amounts of time. So thanks, folks, and we'll see you at the next Esoteric Order of Gamers video. Bye for now. Au revoir, mes amis. Au revoir. As you run off into the distance with your tails between your legs. Help me. <laughs> She's eating surrender monkeys. <laughs>